the Foothills Parkway. Beautiful country. I thought I'd share this little video with you. I took a drive on the Foothills Parkway right here in Dogwood winter. It's a cool morning. And it's partly sunny, partly cloudy, however you want to look at it. And the dogwoods are in bloom everywhere. But you're way up on top of these mountain ridges here. So I thought I'd share this with you. It's such a beautiful little drive. Now for y'all that don't know nothing about this old Foothills Parkway, this thing's been going on for 58 years and they finally completed it. It runs through two counties, the counties of East Tennessee, Blount County and Sevier County, and it borders the northwest end of the Great Smoky Mountains. Now they started this old thing back in 1960s, back in the late 1950s when they started trying it. But here's the, the west leg of it. It was completed first years ago. They started this in 1960 here. Here's the groundbreaking ceremony. And they finished it in 1966. It didn't take them too long on that one. And it's a beautiful section along this ridge line here on top. They say it's Foothills Parkway, but it's really Mount. Now the eastern leg, it did, they did not to complete that one until 2018. They called that the missing link. And it's because of funding and stuff like this. This was a hard end of it. This took a lot of time and effort to do and technology. This is basically a bridge on the side of a mountain for four or five miles around through here. This is what took them long. They didn't finish it till 2018. It's a beautiful place and it cost $178 million all told to finish this. Now here's an overlook looking map of the whole thing of all the little lookout overviews and places you can see and stuff. It's a beautiful place. It, you could drive it straight through an hour and a half to two hours. But if you take your time and enjoy everything, it's a good half a day's drive. So we started out on the Foothills Parkway here on the Dragon Inn on 129 out of Maribel. And here we are going up the ridge. Just enjoy the scenery and the music. I tried to just cut it down as best I could. You have to pay attention driving because you want to look up on these views, but it's got plenty of stopping points for, for photos looking over in the views here. It's such a beautiful place. And I had it pretty well to myself today, a cold dogwood day morning. Here's one of the overviews here I stopped at give you a few little pictures of it. One time it's sunny, next time it's cloudy. Just an old dogwood winter. Views like this. You could just see forever. You're looking south towards the Smoky Mountains. Here's basically where you're at. Right around here at what they call Look Rock. And you can hike up to the Look Rock Tower here. It overlooks, overlooks it. It's a beautiful place. And here's the vantage viewpoint that you'll see in this area, marked here, what the points is on the mountain. Big horizon there. And we travel on up. We head on up across here. We'll cross the uh, Wallens Highway here, and we'll go on the eastern leg.
We get on the eastern leg here, we cross 321 here at Wallen. Just go on across. You can get off if you want to. But we're heading on across here to the eastern leg, what they call the missing link. What really took the time and the effort to finish this old parkway. And you head on up on the end of the mountain. You're above Townsend, Weir's Valley here. It's just so vast. So much to see. I could speed this up, but I'd rather share it with you than just go through a blur through here. I've cut it down about all I could. We'll come to another vantage lookout pullover place. You'll meet a few people here, but on a summer's day, it'd be really crowded. And here's some of the vantage views that you'll see all up and down this ridge line. I could just sit here for hours. It's just so peaceful, so beautiful. And that's Weir's Valley down below. And we head on across around through here. And we start getting into these, where the, the missing link is, where they had so much trouble building these roads. These are basically just bridges on the side of a mountain just hanging off the side of the mountain. And they didn't really have the technology back then to really do this, but it's just so beautiful. You're just right off the edge of the mountain, a bridge all around through here for miles. All sorts of beautiful little places. This would be awesome in the fall, peak fall colors. We pull in another place right here. We're coming down the mountain now, back towards Ware's Valley. This is some of the views. So beautiful. So peaceful. Looking back towards Smoky Mountains, Mount Lacan. When we head on down, we're coming out of here now. We're going down into Where's Valley. Like I said, you could drive this if you want to drive straight through a couple hours. But if you want to take your time and see all the sights and the overlooks and the views, you could spend most of your day here. Such a beautiful place. Just get you a good tank of gas though before you get on it. Now here we're coming down to the, the highway here. We'll take a right here and go back to Pigeon Ford. You take a left, you'll go to Townsend. So there you go. It's just so vast, so beautiful. If you want to see the outlines of the mountains, that's the nicest places I could think of to see. 
The views are so beautiful here. Well, I thought I'd share this with you. It's such a beautiful thing to see. So, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So, God bless, and I'll see you next time.